In 2020, I had more short-term than long-term games to report. What is the difference? In 2020, you had more short-term games. Oh, yeah. And if you hold on to a security for at least a year and then sell it, it's called a long-term gain. And long-term gains are taxed at a separate tax rate. You could it could be zero depending on your total income, or ten percent, or fifteen, or a maximum of twenty percent. So for long-term gains, if it's a short-term gain, it's just part of your ordinary income, uh, which could be all the way up to thirty-seven percent right now, depending on how much income you have. Uh, so short-term gains are uh, a lot more expensive. And so for the most part, you kind of want to hang in there for a year if you have a gain. You got to be careful. You don't want that gain to disappear and turn into nothing. I'd rather pay a little higher tax on the gain than lose it all. So there's this kind of balance that you're trying to strike there, which is very difficult, actually, because we don't, none of us have a crystal ball. But uh, ideally, you'd have long-term gains instead of short-term gains because of the taxation differential. Yeah, it's a good question.